I'm going to introduce you into a set of terms that you are totally familiar with, and I'm going to turn them around in a new way. Justification of it will be it should open up the subject in a new and interesting way. I'm going to hold back what I mean by meditation, but it is on dreams, literally. From our past work, dreams present us a reality that is unknown to us, which, however, benefits us in knowing it. That's what we've been doing up to this point. All right. Now, terms. Look at this. I'm going to be dealing with astronomy. Astronomy. Because I want to introduce a few words and turn them around. Consider is being able, to, literally, from Latin, means stars together. Siderata is stars con together. To consider, when you're considering, you're putting stars together, literally. See, when you're considering something, it's because you want to put something together. So it's an astrological term. It's a term from astronomy. And now look here. Disaster. Aster is a star. It's a missing star. A disaster is when you have to search for a missing star. Now I'm going to use constellation and recognize, recognize. So consider. To find the pattern of stars from a mass of stars is no easy task. We have to learn it, do we not? And one of the most delightful ways today, which I use with my daughter, mm -hmm. is a child's book. And what they have in a very beautiful way. Each of these dots, it's fluorescent. You expose it to the light. Then you go out to the sun, out to the stars, and you open your book, and it sparkles exactly at those points that you need as reference points to identify the constellation. Because this is a mass, a bewildering mass of stars in the heavens. And some people can look up. Don't you find that quite amazing that they can point out all the mm -hmm. constellations and you look yeah. at it, just a mass of stars? That's right. <laughs> That's because, is it not, they've done something, see? They have considered patterns. And the patterns move. Everything in the heavens moves, but each night you wouldn't know that since there's such a mass of them even to talk about it moving is strange. But yet, certain configurations move depending upon the season of the year, since they move in an annual motion, and to the west. So, what do we do when we go out to the heavens, if we're interested in this? We have to find the pattern of stars from a mass of stars. That is the word to consider. What ones go together? Now, to find those few that can be identified together, well, then that constitutes a pattern of stars. A pattern. That's a constellation. They go together. They constellate. There it is again. Because to constellate is another way of expressing the heavens, right? So that's the way to find the pattern of the stars. Why? Well, then once you've identified them, the constellations, you can then identify them on a piece of paper, on the sand, or any other medium. See what we're doing? You can you then project that, as they have in that book, that pattern on a medium, a printed page, or on the sand. Now we're going to use all that. So when you are reflecting, see that word? reflecting. That means there must be something there, and you are reflecting it. It should have a medium, 
and therefore a basis upon which its reflection as an image can be projected and from which there must be a reality. So we have a very interesting thing to look at. Now, these are terms we used before. I'd like to make sure we can go over them. Metaphor, simile, allegory. All of these are functions of analogy. <clears throat> Now, a metaphor, and let's just take a very classic analogy just as a way to express this. Uh, a physician is to, two dots, is to his or her patients, four dots, as, a ruler, two dots, is to his subjects. Right, that's a four-term analogy. And we can indicate that easily. Whenever we create a metaphor, we're taking the terms alternately. That's what we said. We take the terms alternately. Alternately was A and C. And we use the word is. So a physician is a ruler. A ruler, going backwards, since it can go either way. Or a ruler is a physician. All right. In some sense, right? Equally well, patients are like subjects, and subjects are like patients. Similarly, the same thing, except with the word is, we use the word like, and that makes a simile. Allegory is when you add to the story a drama. So if you add a story or drama to an analogy and expand the terms, you have a allegory. When you have all the terms identified, <clears throat> a physician uh, can be said to work with his nurse in an office with a certain kind of knowledge about his patients for their benefit. So a ruler may deal with someone who functions like his assistant which would be like a nurse, it very could be a minister, could it not, a prime minister or someone in that capacity? So that with the knowledge of his subjects, they can then devise certain procedures to benefit the subjects. We can add a drama to it. We can add a drama to it. An allegory is when you add a drama to one side of the story, but the references are always to the other. So if we want to talk about uh, Hussein, uh, or Adolf, or Stalin, or Caligula, anyone you want, we can talk about the drama in terms of the first two terms where we really are referring to the latter two terms. So, what do we do then when we're looking for this? It's a search for the missing terms. And let, we just did it. Let's try it again, all right? As a physician, needs a nurse, office, procedures, knowledge of subjects and medicine, uh, knowledge of his uh, patients, and of course he needs patients, so too so too, now we're looking for the missing terms in the next term. As a ruler needs, who would function as a nurse? We said a minister. Uh, and therefore, a ruler needs some kind of office as a doctor uses an office. A castle or something like that, right? And so therefore, we're looking for corresponding terms for each of the terms in our first set of terms. We're looking for corresponding terms. 
when you look for corresponding terms, that means you are searching for the missing terms. And the missing terms must always be parallel terms. Once you have your analogy, then you test it by what is called conjugating the analogy, which we'll do in a short while. Now, therefore, what do we have to do in every analogy? We have to discuss which ideas may be substituted. Therefore, we have to render explicit all the relations. And therefore, we must find corresponding terms to the first ratio in order to discover the level of meaning. All right? Just as a general review so we can be together. All right. That's our quick review, and we'll do it. Now, last time we took one dream, and I'd like to just review it and use it for our practice. All right, here we are. And I think we can manage this by just using this one, hopefully. that way. All right, let's go over the dream that we did last week, and it was your dream. So why don't you take us through it, and that'll bring into visibility these notes we made. All right, then we'll use it and play it. All right, so we're going to go over the dream we did last week. All right. Just read it, and I'll use my beautiful pictures here. Okay, driving in a car. There Taking you are, driving air. in a car. Wait a minute. And driving Rose. in a car. There it goes. Taking Pierre and Rose somewhere. There's Pierre and Rose, taking them somewhere. Rose is in the car? Yes. Two people, thank you. Good. Rose has driven over to my house, and then Pierre is coming over, and we're going to this was thing there a, together. Uh, was there a G there, or is that the Rose? You used a name, Jean, I think. Or well, Rose. Rose. It's Rose. Okay. okay, I'd rather use Rose. Rose has driven over to my house, and then Thank you. Pierre is coming over, and we're going to this thing together. Good. And we're driving along. Good. See that? Driving along. And I have these slots in front of my driving window, like blinds. There they are. Here are the blinds in the car. Curious place for Venetian blinds. We right. mentioned, did we not? And they're partially open, and I go to make them more open. Right, you start trying to work on them because... They're blocking my They're view. blocking your view. And I make them more closed. You make them, right, right. And, by heavens, you want, to, you want to make them more open, but as a matter of fact, you make them more close closed. them, right. But I make them closed. There you are. Go ahead. And I can't see where I'm going. And so I ask for help. Right, can't see where I'm going. And so I offer this great statement. Hey, help, 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 okay. help. I tell wait, wait, wait a minute. I had that beautiful red one I can use, have a chance to use. Help, red. Oh. Right, help. Go ahead. <laughs> I tell them I need their help to open the window because I knew we were getting to a place where I would have to turn in. So that's your analysis. Right, that's where you say, hey, that's what I need. I need help to open the window. Go ahead. And I, and I can't see. Because it's all closed. The that's Venetian the blind is closed. You can't see out. Go ahead. Right. That's the end. Uh, you have to turn in? I knew we were getting to a place where I would have to turn in, mm -hmm. and I can't see. <clears throat> all right. Then we asked, all right, then we asked for this word, right? that's the word we were using, like. Remember, every like is a simile. In dream work, when you ask, what is it like for someone to go through this, they're going to create sets of similes. All right, that's the simile. The metaphors, if each of these, if each 
image in the dream <clears throat> refers to something from the dreamer's background and world, then it represents it, and literally that means it is a metaphor. And we have to discover the return to which it relates. Mm. Right? Good. Because all we have in this dream then is a set of terms. We can represent them in a cycle like this. It's a story, is it not? It's a story. And we're saying, are we not, that each of these, each of these means something. Each of these can be said to mean something. And therefore, what we have here is an image of an image, because each of these are images, but this is an image of this reality. Right. Okay. So, all right, next. Would you not agree? We always take the next point. Let's put in the next point. In every dream work we ever do, we always ask the same questions in the same way. We look at the dream and we ask, where is the puzzle? Where is the mystery? Where is the conflict? Where's the drama? That's what we want to know. What we are now looking for is, if we can find that, then we're going to the center of this story and identifying what we consider it to be the key part. Because we don't know it when we have the dream. Therefore, it's a missing story. It's a disaster. Mm. Right? The terms we were using before, what did we call a disaster? Literally, a missing star, a missing term. We're looking for the significance of a term, and we don't understand it. So in here, there's something significant, and we now have to consider it, do we not? And we have to think about it, and we have to ask ourselves, what is it about this that's puzzling, or it's a mystery, or it's a conflict, or it's a drama, or a problem, because you are certainly trying to deal with it. Good, and what would you say it was? From what we were doing last time, or you can look at it fresh now. The puzzle? Yes. I, a couple. Why do I have blinds in front of my window? Why the blinds? <clears throat> More? Why can't, why when I try to open them, do I close them? I, I, mean, I don't understand that part. Uh, why, why close I when, when I so, seek to open? All right. Go ahead. What else? That's, that's it for me right now. I, maybe I'm overlooking something. Well, actually, we hope you are. Well. Right, okay. Yes, it is a question of why the blinds are used. That would be the question of why is that image used, and we can translate that in terms of our current language and why, say... Why uh, would anything be blocking? Why? Yeah, it's not hold just, it, the just fact let, that let me, just, just let me write it down, uh, and then I'll go right back, all right? Sir. See, the blinds represent something, right? We represent some X, and <clears throat> you want to know why the blinds. That is to say, you want to know why your, well, whatever constructed your dream is using the blinds. But even further than that, why anything? Why would anything be blocking my vision? It's, it's an artificial thing. It's something that's not usually found in, in a, in a in front of a windshield, so it's it's absurd. There's some there's some. It's it's like totally unconventional okay. way to block your view. It's not just a blocked view. It's a completely unconventional way to block okay, your look view. Okay, Why are 
the blinds there. Instead of uh, I, no, that's a different. That's an interesting question. Why am I being blocked question. at all? Why am I being blocked at all? That's right. Why is my vision Watch, being Watch, look, I, being I can add to scared. it. <laughs> Why am I blocked? Right. Good. Right. Good. Good. Now these are interesting questions. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And, but what am I missing? I don't know. Look here. We don't even have to worry about it. Look here. Would you agree you're trying to do something? Yes. And it's important to know that when you did go over this, you were raising some of these very concerns. Here. What are they doing in front of my window? Right. So you are repeating the same concern you had last time. Yes. Right. So that's all good. Uh, in terms of the dream now, in terms of the dream, mm -hmm. you're trying to do something, and the thing you're trying to do is? Open them. Open them. Mm -hmm. So I can see where I'm going. Yes. So you can see where you're going. Good, 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 good. Yeah. That is your solution in the dream, isn't it? Right. Then they close. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm You find it irritating? There's an irritation about it. Remember, we went over that. Fearful, this whole thing is fearful. Yeah, yeah. What's the puzzle? What was the puzzle we mentioned last week? Anyone? Oops. No, it's okay. Don't even look at your notes. Hmm. See. At this point, would you agree you're trying to deal with the Venetian blinds? In the dream itself, we're not going out of the dream. Yeah. We're in the dream, and you have this concern. What are they doing in front of my window? Right. Aren't right. you? Yes, but I'm more concerned about fixing it so that I can That's see. right. If I get you to stay on this question rather than trying to fix them, what, okay. it, what happens? <laughs> uh, what are they doing I in front of my window? What's the issue there? Why are they there? What are they doing in front of my window? Ooh, pardon me. What are they doing in front of my windows? They're blocking my view. I know what they're doing in front of my window. They're blocking yeah. my view. I want to know why they're... Yeah. Well, this know. is colloquial, isn't it? Yeah. This isn't literal. Right. Because you know, I know what they're what doing. They're doing. They're <clears throat> what does that mean, then? Who put them there? Or... Okay, who put them there? All right. See this question you have? Why are the blinds? Why? What does this say? What are they doing in front what of What are they doing on my, my, my window? Why are they there? Yeah, because, uh, oh, I remember, they, they seem more appropriate in somebody's house. They're, they're not supposed to be in the... Not supposed to be in a car. They're supposed to be in front of my windshield. What are so they are, you, my are you dealing with that issue, or are you trying to find a way... I'm trying to find a way to open to, them. To open them rather than what? <clears throat> solve the mystery as to how they got there in the first place. Why, that's quite true. By the way, are you interested in discovering why they're there in the first place or getting rid of them? Oh, I don't try to get rid of them. I try to work with them. That's right. Huh. That's the mystery. Oh, that's interesting. That's the mystery. That's the puzzle. That's the conflict. That's the drama. Oh, for heaven's sake. So you're saying that. Why are the blinds there? What are they doing in front of my window? Okay, given that, given that, what's your solution? I work with them. Work with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you actually get them worse, don't you? The condition becomes worse. Okay. Can't see where you're going. Mm -hmm. Holler help. All right. Good thing. Right. <laughs> now, what did it do to say that? What did it, it do to say that? It loosened up some ideas that I have about that. 
that I work with, that I work with it. Never considered getting rid of it. <laughs> I never considered that that would be a more direct route. I mean, mm -hmm. okay, now it's, it's a strategy that <laughs> doesn't cross my mind. Okay. <clears throat> Often. Now we're going for similar, <clears throat> similar. We asked you what it was like dealing with those Venetian blinds when you saw them there, and you said you were bothered by them, it was irritating, it was fearful. Mm -hmm. right. Agree? Mm -hmm. And also how unlikely for them to be there, that was another thing you said, and there it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, to play with a dream, we now use a simile. What's the word for similes? Like. Like. Say, so, we know that you're irritated by this, and you're trying to work with it, you're not trying to eliminate the problem, you're trying to work with it. Good. What's that like? That's the simile. What's that like in your waking world? Like working with a piece of equipment that's broken? That's like working. putting up with a broken, some equipment that's broken? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, what else? Third circle. This is your everyday world. We're picking this one scene, which we'll now label A, B, trying to then deal with them, C, you close them, D, call for help, E, and you can't see and you pull in. You pull in somewhere and we'll call that F. All right. So, in that sense, we're talking about what is it like at B? Here we are, B. Now, in your everyday world, all right, you're putting up with something. Go ahead, finish it. Like a piece of equipment, is that like? Am I, I'm putting up with something I, I, I don't know whether it's equipment or not. It doesn't make, if that's the one you want to use, you oh. can use it. Please stay with the likeness, though. Okay. All right? In terms of this dream, you were, you were irritated, fearful, right? When you saw the, when you saw that, right. then you tried to deal with it. All right? Now, that's a state of mind, isn't it? We say that in every scene in a dream, there are three things. There's some action. Right? There is something happening. That's an action. There's a state of mind or feeling state of the uh, participants. And what's the third? A logos or, or a content. All right. A logos, which is a... a Every case, there's something significant being said or implied or suggested in one way or the other. That's the logos. There's an action state of mind in logos. All right. Now, we're asking you now whether or not you can recall being in this state of mind, which you recognize as a sense of irritation and it's fearful to you, yet you're putting up with it right. and you're trying to make it, trying to fix it, only it gets worse. Right. All right. Here we are. What is it that you're putting up with? B. Into something intolerable. Some, in, in some intolerable situation. Like I have, I have a, other scenes of things, th things that just came to mind right now. Go ahead. Something intolerable. Right. A scene came up t into your mind. Right. So you linked it with a scene oh, in, your, in your awakening world. Pardon? Yes, in my waking world. Okay. So give it a name so I can use it. For uh, Carbon monoxide. Okay. Uh, right. um, the garage. Go ahead with the garage scene. Parking. A garage scene. Parking garage. Okay. Okay. Then something went on in a garage scene with you, mm -hmm. right, which you found irritating and fearful. Right. You tried to put up with it. Right, I did. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And yes. it made it worse. It got worse. And it got worse. Because you put up with it in some well, sense. Not, Go ahead. Well, that's, that's where it might fall apart from that scene. But it, because I didn't, I didn't make it worse. 
but it, it did get worse. I Look, should leave that. Look her. Stay in the room. I didn't make it worse. I was stuck in that situation. It became worse. It Is that right? It got worse. It got worse. Yeah. Look her. We are now looking for something that might be analogous to that. Is that what we're doing? You offered two things so far. Something mechanical, and now in a garage scene, that's either the same or different. Either way. There can be other things like this that you're putting up with that bear the same relationship to that. Working with certain people. Okay. Okay. And with at that time, then, do you also seek help when you find out that in the same sequence this goes on? Not very often. No. What? No. Okay. You don't holler for help? No. Good. That's Good. the new part. Uh, how new? In my, well, I don't. I mean, well, we're talking about this dream. In, in the terms dream, of the I dream. call for help. But you're asking me in my waking world? I don't usually call for help in my waking world. I, I usually handle it. You see? Uh, you keep everything that you know about yourself uppermost in your own mind. I ask for Go help. Ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, all right, I ask for help. I got it, I got it. Okay, got look it. here now. <laughs> look here. They are, watch. There are many possibilities yeah, for I'm this. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to go through so many before okay. I got through it. There are many possibilities for this. Okay. By reflecting on it as we're oh, doing, sorry. some yeah. of these cancel out, right. and ideally, one is left. Right, it's left. You got it. I got it. Fine, okay. Sorry, it took so long. Uh, now watch. If we have found the proper piece, then it should fit together with the others into a pattern. Therefore, we test the idea you just had. All right, let's do it, all right? Did you try to fix it? That relationship you just thought about? No. Did it have this sense that as a result of it, you can't see where you're going? Yes. Okay, look here. Then we can say, can we not, D, There is a similarity between D prime, pardon me, B prime, right? Yes. We are finding things in your waking world that are analogous, aren't we? And we're going through each one of these to see whether slowly and carefully we can find something analogous to every piece in the dream. Right? What a rush. Pardon? What a rush. Uh, what do you mean? This is, it's um, going through all those feeling states. You are going through it right keep, now. Right, it's very uh, That's what dream analysis powerful. does. Mm -hmm. This way of doing it brings up to your mind all of these possibilities. Bing, 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 bing. And each one of them you have to re-experience if you do it in terms of this way of proceeding. That's right. right. It flashes before your mind all the possibilities, and now you're going to see which ones fit together because you're interested in getting the constellation of terms that fit and move in your own universe as if they were constellations in the heaven guiding your destiny, just to keep the poetry going. All right. But is this too private, the way we're doing it now? Is this, is this it's up to you. Uh, if you want to volunteer more information, uh, fine. If you don't, we can well, you do let it me in know general. If you think it's becoming, like, becoming too vague or anything, because I, I don't see us actually writing any terms down up there. I'm, All right. Would I'm you like? I'm experiencing it. I'm experiencing the sameness of, of a lot of stuff. But yes. You proceed, and proceed. You have some model you're working on. So. That's, don't worry. But so you wouldn't be doing that now, would you? <laughs> Because I'm experiencing a certain amount of anxiety, <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe I'm trying to fix it, mm -hmm. get out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now look here. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, what are we doing? We're now slowly going back to each one of them and putting a like for each one of these, and then the person then must explore their own universe and find parallels to it. All right, now, 
Let us, all right, can we now say that? How about E? <clears throat> Need help. Need help to open, to open this up. Right. That's still there. Right? Absolutely. And I, I can't see. The, the judgment from that is I can't see. Mm. All right. It, just, then. it is a true, a true thing. I can't see it. That, that okay. Moment. Then E and F have parallels in your experience. And that's finding their similitude. Definitely. Now you go for the level of metaphor. All right, let's do it. Okay. You asked before, why did the, <clears throat> whatever is producing the dream, select the Venetian blinds? All right, that's a metaphor. So we'll treat it as a metaphor. Okay. Dreams carry the language of imagination, which is the language we're using, all right? Talk about Venetian blinds. When we talked about it last week, you said you like them better than curtains. They have problems. Have You've been so. able to fix them in the past. They're clean. Some of them that I have make noise. And some some make noise. Um, <clears throat> it, it was interesting. I had a lot of, lot of um, belt level or blinds in my house that were broken for a long, long time. It took me a long time before I decided to, to get, get rid of them and get new ones. So what does it represent? Say it again. Something that was a pesky, it was a pesky problem in my house for a long time. You tolerated I what? I tolerated having to fix them. I had tolerated them breaking up at the top where the little, the little <laughs> hole goes into the, into the notchkey and, and it, they, they break there and they okay. come undone. Yeah, let's see. If, if the streamer's problem is that she in <clears throat> fact has tolerated a number of things and you're not aware of the price you're paying for it, isn't it ideal for the dream master, whatever is designing the dream, to pick up the, the Venetian blind, since that pulls together all of these ideas in one place? That's very good. That's very clever, isn't yes, it? Definitely. That's right. That's the metaphor. So now, not only are we finding similes that are similar, now we can go back to it and admire the fact that these images are being used with great precision and we have to match it, right? Good, good. Say, so, talk about Rose. That's another, every image in the dream is a metaphor since it refers to something other than itself. Okay. Right? Talk about Rose. Mm -hmm. She's in the car. What's it like being with Rose in the car? In the dream. In the dream, it was very appropriate. <clears throat> More? It was, um, it was uh, it had, had to do with something professional. Go ahead, Mar. Keep going. Um, we work. We work. Uh, we're together a lot professionally because we we study the same material. We study the same stuff. We're interested in the same stuff. Okay. We study with the same teacher, so okay. it was very then appropriate. What would it be like then to travel with her mm -hmm. to your house? Well, she came to my house, and she so, came did, to your so house. did the other person, and we rode together to this function that we were going to together. Okay, in what state of mind? Very, very uh, focused and um, focused, excited. It was a it, it, it was an exciting idea. To go, to go with these three people for these three people to go together somewhere professionally mm -hmm. would mark would mark the beginning of an escalated state of affairs for that for that profession. Okay, then the image that are chosen, if we then see their equivalents, uh -huh. tell us therefore that this is a high event. high event. So you can use everything from the other side mm -hmm. to bring into the dream to assign it its meaning. Yeah, it would be, it's in the dream, a really fine thing to be doing. Okay. Now, what we would like to do, if we had a plastic sheet now over this, mm -hmm. for what each of these things represent, we could put it on the plastic sheet mm -hmm. and then take the dream away and then read both the similes and the metaphors together, and that would be a way of understanding something mm -hmm. in your life. All right? Go to the next step, okay? Now, Talk about the car. Hmm. 
It isn't the car I have in right. my waking world. It was smaller. Um, Not a car. I don't think it's a car I've ever owned. Go ahead. No. It seems to me it was old, like in the 50s or 60s, okay. like it had a, a rounded top okay. to it. And, okay, uh, 50s. But again, it was... Say, when you think of... I wasn't uh, driving then. The same <laughs> thing every time you do a dream. Yeah. You pick the image in the dream, the person gives you the information, and then you bring it back to them for a similar. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So, consider in your mind the dream, the image of the car, it's a smaller car, the 50s. What does that mean, the 50s car? What, is, what does the 50s mean? Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? That's finding parallels. Mm. So just talk about it. It was comfortable. It hmm? was it was comfortable, more luxurious. Comfortable, more luxurious. Go ahead. When I think of that time, when I think of that time, if um, if I had been a young adult or in, at that time, I see that as a time when um, it took very little money to do great things. Okay, less for more. Mm -hmm. All right, good. For great things and right. great opportunities. Right. That's what that means. Right. So you're going with, you're going mm -hmm. in this spirit, and therefore we can now plug that in, can't we? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Therefore, to be blocked by this thing, mm -hmm. this is the only thing that stands as an obstacle. Right. Nothing wrong with the card, nothing wrong with the companions. Right. It's this thing, necessary or unnecessary. Something that you should deal with? Yes, I have to deal with it. Therefore, overall then, the dream has a very nice motif, doesn't it? Everything is fine except this thing is going on, which blocks your seeing and blocks your capacity to go well, to your destination. Luckily, I asked for help, but, uh, so I mean, it's not a total wipe off. But... Okay, no. <laughs> uh, I'm jumping. Right, next level, okay, ready? Okay. okay, now we're going to this level. All right. No. So, um, you said a few minutes ago that, uh, oh yes, you did rec recognize there was something in your life that did fit. And you went through a certain feeling state, did you not? Yes. Yeah. Talk about that state. You just went through it here, all right? Okay. We're looking at that state of mind when you plugged in whatever that was. What was it like? It's see, it is, um, at the time, it feels fixed. At the time, it feels predetermined and fixed. Like, like, oh my goodness, here it comes, you know, oh my goodness, here it is, you know, hang on. <laughs> hang on. I have no idea what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. That's the feeling state you got in when you, rec when you had a recollection of what that meant. There you are. Look, here it is. See? All right. All right. Now, when you thought of it just a moment ago, and, and when we put it back into this analysis that we're doing, right, did you find that beneficial? I'm not sure yet. I'm still in it. Well, you could be in it. I just want to talk about it. Right? Come on. Oh, do You're I find saying it you, beneficial to continue? You have identified a relationship, is that right? That you're having difficulty with? Is that what you were talking about? I think so. When you say relationship, see... Okay. I'm, you, whatever term you want, I'm you put in. There. I'm losing it there. Where you, Pardon where me. Where you say it's a relationship. I guess it's a relationship between me and that state of mind. Is that... No. What's you did have a recollection of what this might mean, what the Venetian blinds might mean, did you not? Oh, definitely. I got the, that picture from... Yeah. yeah. And then 
you said, oh, I thought of a bunch of them, and then you singled one out and said, ah, that's where it is. Did you not? For the irritation and the fearful state, right. That's true, and it, and it had to do with something that you were putting up with. We're down in this now, are we not? Yeah, except I think I'm mixing. Yes, you're. I think you're I'm going in and out of two or, two or three different things here. So well, I'm sorry then, I'm not no, no, that's okay. That's because we don't have the language which is in your personal life. If you if you can share it, fine. If you can't, we can do it in general. What is the thing? Can you say what the thing is in some terms? What, remember? You said, oh yeah, I thought of this and that for the first example you gave was like a mechanical thing that broke down, and then? That's, that mechanical thing breaking down is very close to that irritation. And then you went for something else, did you not? Do you remember that? But then you said that there was more to it, it was fearful. Mm -hmm. I added more <clears throat> to it, and I came up with some examples from my waking world. Thank you. Right. And then you did pick one out of all of those examples? Yes, I did. Put a name on it so we can talk about it? Um, or make up a name that will cover it? Laguna Seca Days. What? LSD. Laguna Seca Days. LSD. Mm -hmm. What's that? Laguna? Laguna Seca Days. Okay, whatever that means. That's all right. All right. Laguna Seca is a place. And they had an event called Laguna Seca Days. Days. Oh, thank you. That was an event you attended? Yes. Ah, thank you. Now I'm with you. Okay, thank you. All right. Good. There was something about that. Is that right? Yes, there was. I had an experience at that event mm -hmm. that was fearful. That was fearful? And I was trapped into it. And you were trapped into it? And once it, was, once it had begun, it seemed... It was going to play out. It was faded. Mm -hmm. So then I, I did ask for help. Then you did ask for help? Yes. All right. Now look here. To stay with the dream, right? Mm -hmm. All right. This LSD event, there was something you put up with from the beginning of it. Hmm. Yes, there was. Right. You want to say what that is? Okay. What is it? A person. A person. You were putting up with that person, someone. All right. Is that right? Thank you. All right. Here's the person. All right. At the time, I didn't. At the time, see this. I didn't see it. No. Thank you. Are you now seeing it? Yes, I. Uh huh. I'm reflecting on that, and I'm seeing that that uh, that played more of a role than I realized at the time. That the person played more of a role. I didn't realize that I was putting up with anything. Yes, but now that you're putting it into this context. This context forces you to consider it in that way, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's what the dream analysis does. Okay. It forces you to look at your, your experience to find out what's missing, see? Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, I didn't consider that. If you were to do it right now, if you were to do it tomorrow, another LSD event, all right, with the right. same person, what right. would you do? What would I do? I've asked myself that. What would I do differently? That's right. Do it now. What would you do differently? I don't know. Would you put up with that person? What would you do with that person? I don't know. I still don't. If I'm you, still you, stuck. I'm still stuck there. Okay. Right. That means you don't know what to do. You're still looking for help. I'm, I'm still stuck there. I You're know. still stuck there. You can't see. You're stuck. That's right. Is that what the dream is telling you? That you're stuck there? Maybe so. That you're not getting rid of the Venetian blinds. You're trying to get some help with it. Look, mm. is that right? Possibly, yeah. No, no, I'll in terms lie. of the dream. Yeah. If we just are guided by the logic the dream, of the dream. I'm actually, yes, I'm And carry that over mm -hmm. here. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> what does it mean now to say that's right? It's just, it's an interesting thing because I care, this is a, you know, really good friend of mine and I really enjoy sharing experiences, but it's so weird to think that the, the logical thing to say would, I wouldn't repeat it, I wouldn't do it again, I wouldn't 
go with her. To now you wouldn't like do that. it again. I wouldn't go to to the event at all. Ah, now that okay, you didn't see that before. No. You're seeing that through the dream. <clears throat> Is that correct? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Well, I mean, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Going in and out again? It sort of came to me that you know, hey, maybe that wasn't such a good idea to go, but it never occurred to me that it was it was going with her that was making the problem. Oh, but right now, do you think that's true? Uh, that's a hard one. Well, you're a dream, not mine. There's in therefore... the dream, there's no question about it that the thing, that I'm trying to fix the thing okay. that's... Okay, that's enough. Watch now, okay? But I'm not sure I can... This is that. what is called, using the language we have, the disaster. There's something missing. Yeah, there is. You have to search for it. If you can assign to that person or that relationship you had all of these values, and if it all fits, yeah. it's going to have a consequence on your life, isn't it? As you just said, I wouldn't go again. With her. That's right. Is that correct? I mean, just correct me. Look, see. I don't know. Yeah, look here. See, we don't have to force anything because look here. There are many possibilities of what this dream may refer to. You you offered some and later dropped them. See, the thing is, the things that are irritating me in this in the real life thing are things that I deliberately sought after. I mean, I put myself in the situation on purpose. That's the part that blow, that boggles my mind. It's that. You know, I put myself somewhere where it's 110 degrees, there's no shade, mm -hmm. you know, there's n and they don't let you take any water in there, and, and I go to sit for seven hours to listen to music, and some of it was horrible, and there I was sitting there, you know, listening to this horrible music, and I felt like I had to take care of her, or that she, her, her being there necessitated my being there. Being there, and Therefore, I just wanted to go. I didn't even want to stay at yeah, it at pardon. that point. Stay with what you are saying. Are you saying it was because you were with her, that was part of your being there? You had to be with her? Well, actually, we could have both left. Uh, that's possible. But, um... So far as what you're saying now, okay, yes. You both may have left, the band may have left, a lot of things may happen. Mm -hmm. But in terms of your experience, that's all we can deal with. Were you trying to manage her, like the Venetian blinds? Did it get worse? Were you unable able to she deal with her? She was demanding, you know, it, she, she required some amount of, of attention and, you know, I just like I had to be kind of hang out with her, be her buddy. Yes, and yes, yes. Now, notice what we're saying. It looks like for every one of these, you have something parallel in your waking world. Okay. But if you're going to make the identification of the Venetian blinds, that putting up with that for everything that that means, tolerating something you know you have to get rid of. Yeah, which yeah, filters through several la layers of my life. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Then here's the point, important point for us. There may be other things that fit more than this that you haven't mentioned and do not know okay. because you haven't identified it yet. It's only by putting in possible variables. This is a variable. You have to find from your experience what might fit. It's by rejecting them and saying, no, no, I have reservations about this that allows another one to emerge. So as far as the analysis is concerned, it doesn't matter to, to me or the person who's making the analysis which one you choose. I have to be rigorous, however, and making sure that whatever choice it is, you put it through each one of these metaphors and similes because we're constructing an analogy. Because if this is translated, if the whole crisis here is translated here, mm -hmm. 
well, then we want to make sure that each of the terms fit and you have a possible way of understanding it because there is a very clear price you're paying for it in the conclusion. What's the conclusion here? You're blaming yourself. I can't see. I know, I Not that the blinds, I can't see. What are you doing here then? You're taking the blame. Right. Therefore, it may be whatever is going to fit all of these, that's going to play a key role. Now, what are we doing? Are we not creating an analogy? Mm -hmm. Systematically, that's all we're doing. Pardon? It's like a star chart because things recede and then other things emerge. That's right. So by this description of the, of the blinds, we're seeing that that may relate to something, but as we get into it, it looks like that's receding and there may be something more significant even behind that. That's absolutely correct. You may have an interesting possible star to fit that constellation, but it may not fit. It may be present in the fall, but not in the summer, <laughs> as the constellation moves in different locations in the zodiac or the horizon. All right? Yeah, OK. So. Sorry, because I, I feel that way. That I feel as if we have parts of some constellations, but not one constellation. That's how it feels to me as we're doing this. I don't feel like I have, have the pieces in the same level with each other or something like they're out of alignment. Yeah, see. Uh, there was one level. So, oh, excuse me. Yeah, there was one level if you want to offer it. Right? Yeah, there was one level you said, which was that you were moving in a certain direction and this uh, situation that you were in, you, you tolerated and that had an effect on what A and B was. I mean, that's one level of it, that you tolerated a certain kind of uh, experience for a certain, and that, that prevented you from A and B. But is, that, is that clear? I, I, I'm, no. Do it again. Well, my understanding is that C was something that occurred toward the blinds, and that interrupted or, or caused her to... Uh, become frustrated, I guess, or t she's tolerated a certain state of mind, where as A, and, which took her away from A and B, as I understand it. She's moving along. She, it blocked, she's it blocked her from blocked achieving it. her goal. Yeah, that's blocked right. it, that's a good way. So there is that yeah. level that yeah. was completed, yeah. but now we're seeing, <clears throat> now we're going further into it. Yeah. In a different See, level. when you say each piece doesn't fit, do you mean we made a mistake in the, on the level of metaphors? Mm. Or in similes? Similes fit. Because they're your states of mind. What is it like? They fit, but I don't know if they're continuous. I don't know if it's all from the same... From like Sometimes it feels, seems like I'm spinning off into another, into another drama that's connected to this one, but not. I'm not mirror, mirroring it. Like it breaks off at a certain point, like like the. Um, I'm particularly confused about that about what you're calling the missing piece. Pardon? The person in the the person in the scene in the present scene, at the event, the LSD event. The idea that that's what I'm putting up with. Oh, pardon me. Are you putting up with her? I, I only use your language, but I, I, I can know, correct I'm, my I'm language. I'm trying to be sincere about this. I mean, I don't want to say that if it's not true. I'm trying to see for myself whether, what it is that I was putting up with, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it, what it was. Yeah. You have I'm a all... difficulty now mm -hmm. saying whether or not this fits. Yeah. That is, whether it is this person. Is that correct? Correct. What would it mean if it's true? What would it mean if it's true? That is to say, what if it means if that she can be understood in terms of this dream and the way in which this dream is going? What would follow for you? 
a crisis of understanding. I, I wouldn't, uh, I would be uh, totally confused by that. Uh -oh. I'm totally confused by that. I mean, here's the situation. The situation is that this person flies 3,000 miles to come and go to this event, and we have a great, you know, friendship, and she, she's only here for a few days, and we do this, this great thing together, and we're happy to be doing this together. We've gotten our tickets. We've planned it. We've gone to all this trouble to be there and put ourselves in this situation. And now I see that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm with a person who's, uh, who's, who's fearful and needs a lot of care and, you know, need, needs to be, ha have a certain amount of tr trust in her surroundings and I'm providing a lot of stability for her and, tr you know, she, she trusts me and mm -hmm. that I can take her places and get her from here to there and, you know, she's afraid of this and afraid of that. And, and here we are in this. <laughs> I mean, here we are in this amazing place with yeah, you wouldn't say that. degree you heat. Wouldn't, yeah, and, you then I, and then I, I made a, 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 a foolish decision and, and added another level of drama to it by ingesting certain yeah, substances. Okay. <laughs> so now, I mean, the whole thing just... <laughs> if it is true, watch, follow it. If the dream is pointing in the direction that we are moving in, yeah. then that means you have put a lot of energy, psychic energy, into this. Right. right? A lot of values, a lot of the past. Mm -hmm. If it is true that she is functioning that way, mm -hmm. that would be a crisis for you. Yes. Right. Because? Because it, it turns my idea of our friendship upside down. What friendship? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No problem. I'm sorry. No problem. I, I'm beginning to. I'm seeing lately. I the word friend is a totally. Pardon? Me? The word friend is totally. Uh, I have no idea what it is anymore. Good. I thought I thought I knew what friendship was, and I you know forget it. Yeah, okay. I, I'm just gonna start yeah. over. I don't have any else. If to this over. could be a problem, given your past and your background, that would be a crisis in your personal philosophy. Yeah. Because you have been led to believe that if it has all of things, all of these things together, that should be a friend, and friends should be on a certain level and should be important to you for a variety of reasons, and it should be a good. I know. We were, uh, we were it, sitting there, we couldn't even read the Odyssey. I mean, this is like, this was like. It was, Oh, I don't believe it. I couldn't believe it that I was in that situation. So. I couldn't believe it that I was in that situation of means my own free what? Will. I mean, I what means myself. what? Oh, man, yeah. Okay. That's, um, we don't have to push anymore. Yeah, Look no, here. that's true. Though. I was, I'm seeing the basic here. premise we're working on with dream analysis mm. is the dreams present to us a reality which, which is unknown to us and most often hidden from ourselves. We hide it from ourselves. And therefore, if you can benefit by dreams, you're going to be seeing something which is in your reality, but which has been obscured, hidden, and concealed for a variety of reasons. Okay. That's all we're saying. And then by treating it in the way in which we're doing, slowly and ponderously as it is, because that's what dream analysis is, it's, so it's not a system you impose, it's not interpretive. It has to emerge from each symbol, each metaphor, each simile. And it's a struggle, isn't it? Yes, I'm sorry for that. For the no, 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 hey, it's real. It's real. But it does present to you a crisis, doesn't it? It's a real crisis in your life. Yes, it Deals is. with a fundamental value. That's yes, right. That's right. I spend a lot of energy. That's right. Dreams are dangerous stuff in that sense, that it has a vitality that can shake up your everyday world and can shake up the, the uh, very fundamental philosophy you happen to have. That's right, every dream. Well, so far it's always been good, the shake-up, I mean. Oh, okay, then it may in fact have a benefit. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, now. There is a way of taking dreams on what is called an a, um, anagogic level, on a higher level. All right, higher level. Everything the same, 
We're going to take it on a higher level now. Okay. Right? <clears throat> uh, take each of the metaphors, or each of the, what we call a metaphor, anything that is, has an image in the dream that we've already accounted for, the car, the people, the Venetian blinds. And now you're going to consider it, each one of those things, on the highest reflective level. All right, try it. What would house mean then? Going to my house. I'm going to my house. They're going to my house. They're going We're to my going house. We're going to an event. The kinds of people that are going to your house. Come on. Right. Uh, the gods. Pardon me? <laughs> Let's go all the way. The gods. I mean. The gods. The gods. Plural. Okay. So then some divine. <clears throat> In that image? I mean, we're, That's all right. we're look doing at your the dream. highest possible thing you can do. Fine. Okay, look here. You can take it that way. What you have to do is take it on as, as many levels as you want. Okay. As long as you have a, a reality that corresponds to it. Yeah. If you're a Freudian, also put the Freudian level. If you're a Jungian, put another one in. Put as many levels as you want. It doesn't matter. Okay. Use them all. The anagogic level is your own personal highest set of terms consistent with the dream. That's okay, all. Okay, well, these two people are coming into my sanctuary, and we're going to the highest place I can think of. Right. And it's luxurious, right? It's Come on. Luxurious. Luxurious. And comfortable. comfortable. And we're right. going first class. Going first class. Everything is fine until you discover there is something that is. Blocking my view. Hmm. The big cloud. Of the <laughs> divine, see? Right. Ah, now. See, now we have to take the difficulty you had on yet another level. And we can do that by asking the question you had before. Hmm. So let's do it, all right? Uh, you said before it's in the wrong place. Shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. And you're trying to, you're putting all your energy into fixing, in trying to the trying fixing to something which in, it. which in principle shouldn't be, there. shouldn't be there. Right. So there you are, you're on a journey, a spiritual journey as it were. Okay. All right. And you're now on a tangent because you are now using up your energy and your talents, mm -hmm. trying to... Trying to push some... Thing, trying to fix it or okay. maneuver it instead of turning away from it or That's going right. somewhere else. That's right. That's right. Oh, that would be the right time to turn away. <laughs> I had six dreams where I turned away, and now I finally have one I'm supposed to turn away. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, if that makes sense well, to you, I hope it does. Five dreams before yeah. are all about me turning around and being okay. distracted and turning <clears throat> around when I'm not supposed to. And this is a place where, this is where you don't turn around and you put up with it. Where I put up with it. And, and end up I lying. I should just turn away from That's it right. or, or stop right. the car and take them off. So this would be saying on that level, that on a metaphysical level, on the level of the divine, your own spiritual life is being, being trapped blocked by this kind of activity, isn't it? But, mm. Isn't that what you just said? By being blocked by the kind of activity where I'm... Spinning your wheels, doing this kind of stuff, all right, and end up blind and blind, lost your goal. I'm myself because That's I didn't right. get there. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how it always ends. And blaming yourself that you didn't get there. Ah, see. That's the key one. Mm. Ah. Mm. So, good. All right, let's go back to where we were. All right. Now, here's a harder one. Now, we're going to now, we have an extended analogy. All right, let's do it. We said that uh, the goal is to understand dreams in terms of analogical structures. We looked at metaphors, similes, and allegories when you put a story in the analogy. Uh, and we're searching for the missing terms. Did we have some difficulty doing that? Yes. That's inevitable. Mm -hmm. All 
right? Now, you then have to conjugate the analogy with the inverse and alternate modes. <clears throat> okay, let's hold that for a moment. We've been discussing which ideas may be substituted. Right? We're trying to render explicit the relationships in the analogy because we're searching for contemporary terms, corresponding terms, to the first set. This is the first set, the dream. We're looking for corresponding terms in the second set. And we tried, ideally, to go for the third set, which is called anagogic. Okay. Right, right, right. So that's what we've been doing, because that's the search for meaning. That's a struggle. Yeah, I guess so. Now, um, let's see if we can make a sentence now. All right. You are in the dream. Come on. You are going on a great journey to on a great journey. Go ahead. And something comes up. And our and are blocked. Blocked by. <coughs> because, and are blocked because. Because something. You. Oh. Go ahead. I was saying because something comes up that shouldn't be there. Okay, you are blocked because you put up with something that shouldn't be there. You put up. I put up with something that shouldn't be there. All right. That's a, that's a statement. Right. that we drew from the analogy. Mm -hmm. right. You're on a great journey All right. and are blocked. We can now find equivalents to them because you put up with something you sh that shouldn't be there or you've tolerated same thing, shouldn't be there or you shouldn't allow it to be there. That's right, okay. All right. Now, I want to play. We have been focusing on this. We've been gazing attentively on that. And that's what contemplate means. Meditate, or the meditation is really to reflect and ponder, because you're trying to measure. That's where the word comes from. You're trying to find a proper measure between things. You're still, hopefully, not as satisfied as you should be. It looks like you're coming close to saying maybe it fits. Is that correct? Correct. You now have to keep that puzzle. You have to keep that puzzle and go over this. And by the way, is that something you want to do? Yes. Therefore, this becomes your natural koan. Your dream yes. becomes your natural, a natural koan, a natural way of exploring what is the nature of what is going on. Now, let's go further, all right? If this is true, by that I mean, if this dream has been constructed and we can say all of these things about it, then how precise are the images in respect to how well they match your own experience? Very precise. All right. All right in terms of the way you experience in the dream, the states of mind you experience in the dream, how much like it are they to your present reality? So there, how precise are the images? How precise are the states of mind? Right. Uh, tell me, another thing now, looking at the uh, images like the car, does that mean that whatever is doing the dreaming goes into your own mind and picks out what would be an image for all of those ideas? That's very nice, yes. Right? So therefore it has to know you to pull out that element, that element. And if this happens to be the very thing that's blocking your own spiritual growth or, or uh, development, then it's offering you something of immense significance for your own personal development, isn't it? For you to ponder. Yes. <clears throat> now, we are now left then with the question is, what kind, what kind of intelligence 
are we assuming exist in the construction of this dream or the dreams as we are exploring them? What kind of intelligence is it? It's able then to take a look at your psychic life or spiritual life, which is not easy to see, can spot where you're stuck, can represent it from things in your past, can find in the dream states of mind that correspond to that very crisis, can bring it together so that if you solve that, it allows you a possibility of breaking through that. In how many words? <laughs> Two paragraphs? Right, one paragraph. So therefore, create a concise multimedia presentation of images on levels of meaning drawn from your personal history and psychological past, has an eye towards your future, and in principle, if this works, it must necessarily benefit you, must it not? Correct. And therefore, whatever is producing this, the intelligence must also have a beneficial quality to it. Right? That is, it seeks our benefit on the highest level. Or to put it in classical terms, that's evidence of provenance functioning through the dream master. To pull it together in a succinct statement. The master of our dreams is manifesting to an individual that kind of communication, which when it's reflected upon and pondered upon and becoming an object of meditation, may bring that person to break through a block that they have that they didn't know that they had, didn't see it in their present life, didn't see it the way it manifested in their present life, saw it in subsidiary ways, maybe with toasters and things like that, but not in relationships. So it forces you to see what was obscure and hidden to your own view. Huh? And if that's the case, it is quite a seeing dream master. So, see whether we can represent that now one more step. See if you can do this now. All right, then we can pause. Um, as a great journey is to its obstacles, as a great journey is to its obstacles. Now we're going to put what kind of obstacles? Not natural obstacles. Unnatural. Uh, Just say the word, pardon? Seemingly random, but, but this is well But it chosen. reflects your but it's a well past history. Yeah. All right. So we need another word on top of obstacles. Did you have one? Did? I thought I heard one. Yeah. He said psyche, but what about beliefs? Uh, uh, thoughts about yourself? Okay. See, you would you agree this journey was blocked because there was an obstacle and the obstacle was a certain belief you had about what? Friendship. That's right, a belief about friendship. All right, what, we, what we're coming to? No, you shouldn't. All right. So, as your journey in life is to what kind of beliefs? True ones? No. False ones? Ah. So, your journey in life, A, is to the false beliefs you have about friendship, B, as, as, driving the car, come on, as driving around the 1950 car, is to the Venetian blinds that you're trying to correct. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. I was going. I thought you were going to go right. higher, not lower. See, 
D. Oh. C, D is the level of the dream. Oh. Four terms, that's an analogy. Okay. Analogy of four terms. Now, would you not agree we can now specify all the relationships we have discovered between the journey in your life, your life's journey, and the false belief about friendship. Right? <laughs> yeah. They, therefore, That's we can say the relationship sense. between this, these two is also a relationship that's captured between these two images. The consequences of this, the consequences of that are similar. Pull over and take them off the car. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Or to your friend, hey, I put up with you, Harry, long enough. <laughs> All right. So here, symbolically, is the way in which a dream can be presented. All right? CD, the two terms. This is the level of dreams. This is the level of your reality. And therefore, we're saying the relationships between the car and everything involved in the car and the Venetian blinds is, go ahead, moves this way. You can talk about it this way or this way. That is to say, you can talk about the false beliefs about friendship is to your journey in life, or you can talk about your journey in life is the false beliefs in your, et cetera. Let's see if we can do this now. Is the, can we say as your journey in life is captured by your travels in the car? Hmm. As the false beliefs about friendship are like the way you are relating with the Venetian blinds? Therefore, we're saying A is to C, right? As B is to D. Now, let's look at this, what this means, okay? Hmm. We're still formally now. Formally, okay. A is to B as C is to D. This is taking terms alternately, skipping terms. When you take the first and the third term of the third and the first, the second and the fourth of the fourth and the second, that's taking the terms alternately. That's taking the terms alternately. All right? When you take them alternately and substitute the word is, you generate all of your metaphors. That's what we call them. That's what they are. When you look for states of mind, you translate that to like. And that's the similar. If you express it in terms of the dynamics of the story, that's the allegory. Allegory is a story you add to an analogy. That's all it is. That's what an allegory is. Therefore, if there is a dream master, he's got a keen sense of structure, metaphor analogies, similes, even parables at times. And therefore, it's a consummate artist that deals with all the images known in the classic world of rhetoric, the art of rhetoric, seeking meaning. Therefore, dreams reflect a reality much as images are reflected on the surface of a lake. The difference between those images and its objects is like the image of a man projected upon the water, and the man himself seen in all his nobility is that distance between the two. That's called symbolic distance. Right. So we're doing the same thing here when we went to the anagogical level. Right. When we move to the higher level, it's called anagogic, right? That's all it means in Greek is higher level. That's all it means, right? right? Therefore, we then deal with the same relations in a higher term. Okay. Right? Therefore, now we go to the big one. All set? The therefore. Therefore. Therefore, all right, let's see if we can do it. as an image in the surface of a lake is to the actual tree and an image of a man in a lake is to a man in the world itself. Right? 
we can then learn from these images something about the real, but the distance between them is very great because the nobility of man and the liveliness and the vivacity of a tree cannot be captured in the images. Yet the images, a dream is cast in or to our minds, which we then must ponder. We're over here pondering the images on the surface of the mind, as it were. And that presupposes, does not, that there is a higher reality from which it draws those images on which those images are cast. And that's what we're going to deal with in the next talk. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I hate to wait for Questions? Material. Explorations? <laughs> Any points you'd like to bring up? Pardon? Good. Mm -hmm. But that would be saying the image and the reality are because of the length of time in which it is occupied on the surface, it becomes like it. Well, here though, we're, just, we're saying we're the, just picking up as a projection. Yeah, we're just picking up a projection. And, it, and it's also meant to indicate a distorted one as well, because the surface of the lake may, be just, may distort the image as well. So that, that saying is sort of religious. That's right. This is saying there's a greater, in, in literature, there's a key term for this. In philosophy, it's called symbolic distance. Right? The symbolic distance between this and this is greater than the one in the poem you mentioned, where the image and the sun, because the image and the sun is on the surface of the lake for so long, it is much like it, akin to it, and it's difficult to separate them. Right? That would say, therefore, that distance between the two of them narrows, and that's called a narrower symbolic distance. You can represent symbolic distances in, uh, in projective geometry, but that will take us off for a while. There's a way of doing well, it. Sure. Pardon? I suppose you're looking at all my dreams. Mm -hmm. Find out what all my dreams are, what my blocks are. Mm -hmm. Would that bring me closer to the, the big tree, or would I still be caught up in this bubble of the pond? Am I some sort of... Uh, it invariably, my experience has been, the mind is an extremely interesting thing, and needless to say, but one of its most central features is uh, the more you attend to it with respect, the more you attend to it seriously, the more you consider that it's a fountain of integrity, it responds in a like measure your dreams will be correspondingly more interesting. To that degree, in a sense, you're telling your mind that you are even willing to risk the, the more profound problems, personally significant, traumatic perhaps, and you'll get them. In the same way that for people who've experienced terrible nightmares, they can go to bed each night and tell themselves that they'll wake up in the dream and avoid the terror they encounter in their dreams. A couple of months later, if they do it each night, sincerely, they'll wake up in the middle of a dream, still awake in the dream, and direct the dream away from the terror. Not that all of it is manageable and malleable, but it will give them an interesting feature called freedom in a dream. Yeah, so all of, yeah, that's the same issue. Because after all, all we have to, the only reality is mine. I mean, that's really us. What's your definition of dream master? I think, I, I was just, I was posing it here. Okay. If you collect all of that together, it would be um, um, a trans, it's a, it's, since, it, I have to add to it, since it appears that the same qualities appear in everyone, yet it's imminent in everyone, yet it's, its goal is transcendent in the respect of the fact that the goals it seeks to resolve in your own life have a very high and meaningful goal, which is towards integration, towards seeing, towards resolving a conflict. Therefore, it is a beneficial force, and on the highest level, that's the function of the good. 
metaphysically, it's providence. Where the function of the mind is providence. So is the it an individual? Function of mind is providence, but functions through dream, dream masters and as a result in the conflicts of the dreams. Yes, to finish the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> is, is a dream master individual to the, to the person? Or? Eminent, yes. And transcendent in respect to the fact that it can go beyond the personal goals and point to transcendent goals. So it's eminent as well as transcendent. And is it, so is there a dialogue between the person and the dream master? I mean, is that what dreams yes, are? Yes, 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 it is. That's a very good way of putting it. That's right, that's what it is, it's a dialogue. It's a dialogue with our mind. Because, <coughs> add one more feature to it, which is very important, I'm glad you mentioned it. Uh, from what we did, would you not agree that, uh, the dream master must be aware of all of our conflicts, be able to know our past much more than we do, can pull from them the richest images to represent complex states of mind. So right now, if we are misunderstanding something because of some personal block, it could then use this very moment in one of our dreams tonight Therefore, it must be awake in our waking world. So that's the transcendence into the conscious That's the transcendent mind. side. And the link between the conscious and unconscious mind. I don't, yeah, okay, I don't use the word unconscious myself. Mm -hmm. In the psychological sense, I'm not a psychologist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Things that you are not aware of, I think, are other than what they call unconscious. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, thank you for your question. So, so is, a dream, is a dream more real than your, than your waking Yes, yes, more meaningful. Oh yes, that's the, that's the curiosity to this, isn't it? It's more intelligible, more succinct, right. is able to represent in one dimension multiple ranges and multiple dimensions, multiple ranges of your experience, possible experience, yeah. You see, if you block someone from dreaming, as you know, even for six weeks, when those experiments where they kept people from dreaming at the dream clinic over here at UC, what was UCLA, uh, people went into uh, uh, phases of schizophrenia. They had to stop the experiments. So therefore, dreams are a way in which we maintain a rationality, a source of rationality in our lives. We don't understand it that way, but that's the way it functions. And being deprived of it, we slip into this other world, which is a loss of meaning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything? Anything? Thank you for coming.